Hello everybody, this is Kianda the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. In today's tutorial, I'm going to build a smart IR remote control using ESP32 development board integrated with Home Assistant. So you can control devices using your smartphone, for instance. What is needed? For sure, an ESP32 development board integrated with Home Assistant. You can watch its tutorial here. Then we need IR receiver and IR transmitter. There are two ways to do the programming. I start with the general way, then a specific way. Let's jump to the programming. First of all, we have to receive IR signals using IR receiver and save the codes in order to use them. This is IR receiver. It has three pins, ground, which must be connected to the ground of ESP development board, VCC pin, the middle one, must be connected to 3.3 volt pin of the board, and output must be connected to one of the pins of ESP32. I connected pin number 30, six to output of IR receiver. After connecting IR receiver to ESP32, it's time to program it. So I navigate to supervisor in home assistant, select ESP home and click on open web UI. This is ESP32 development board the YAM file of ESP32. I click on edit. At the bottom of the file, you should paste these codes, or let's say these lines. They are related to connecting IR receiver to the board. As I said, I use pin number 36. I set inverted to true. For general use, I select dump to all. After pasting the codes, you should click on install and select wirelessly and wait till installation completes. I have done it already. After installing the edited file on ESP32, click on logs. I have a Samsung TV remote control. I point its IR transmitter toward IR receiver and press one of the buttons. You see Home Assistant shows the signal it has received. Let's repeat several codes as... Okay. In these lines, Home Assistant, or let's say ESP Home, detected the kind of signal it is receiving. But here, let's say Home Assistant does not recognize what kind of IR signal it is receiving. So, how to use this kind of signals? You see, I find these lines, which we have received raw. From this line, I copy the lines till the next one. From here to here. I copy the lines. Let's do it one more time. After copying them, I paste them in a notepad, or let's say Word. We need them later. Okay, we have a signal. I click on a stop. Now it's time to use this signal. I click on edit. 
I paste the codes related to sending IR signals. These lines are related to sending IR signals. I use pin number 13. This module is IR transmitter. It has three pins. Ground must be connected to the ground of ESP32. VCC, the median one, must be connected to 3.3 volt pin of the board. And this is the data pin. I have connected data, this pin, to pin number 13 in Home Assistant. In this section, we are defining a switch in Home Assistant. We set a name for it. For example, here I set the name source for it. As you see here, we have an automation on pressing the switch. A raw signal is transmit. Here we have to paste the codes we saved. Here I copy the lines, then paste them here. We have to trim the lines. I delete these parts. We have to have just numbers, one positive number, the other negative number. Okay, I click on install, select wirelessly, wait till the edited YAM file in installation on the ESP32 development board completes. In installation is completed, I click on stop. It's time to reconfigure our integration. To do so, I click on configuration on the left panel in Home Assistant, select integrations. Then I select ESP32, click on three dots, delete it. Okay. After that, I click on Add Integration, select or search ESP Home, select it, enter the IP of my development board. Click Submit. Finish. Select it. It has one device. You see, we have a button. Its name is Source. We can change the icon. If I turn the source switch on, the signal is sent by IR transmitter. Let's talk about the second method. I click on supervisor, select ESP home, open web UI. Click on edit to open the YAM file. In remote receiver section, we set dump to all. For a specific usage, we should use name of a brand. We want to set the remote control, or let's say build the remote control. In our example, we use Samsung. After that, in code sections, we have some differences. I delete this part, also this part. About the brand's ESP Home supports, you can check that in its page. In this page, we have the list of brands. Here, JVC, LG, Media, NEC, Sony, Toshiba, and etc. Talking about our example, receiving Samsung signals, we have to receive data 
and end bits. Let's navigate to Home Assistant. After setting Dump to Samsung, I click on Install, select Wirelessly. Wait till edited YAML file installation on the board completes. I click on Logs. Now I point the remote controller toward IR receiver and select or let's say push the source button. As you see, Home Assistant is showing us a better IR code. It has detected that the signal is related to Samsung and we have data in addition to and bits. We need it. How? Let's show you. So, we copy this section and paste, or let's say we use it in lines related to sending IR signals in YAML file. I click on stop, click on edit. Here we have to paste the codes related to sending IR signals. I paste the codes. We use remote transmitter. I use pin number 13. In switch section, there is a little difference. In, instead of raw, we used Samsung. And here we paste the codes we captured using IR receiver. Pay attention that receiving data was something like this. Instead of equal sign, I use this sign. Now I click on install, select wirelessly, waiting installation completes. Here we have an error. Let's see what's wrong. Okay, in a slot. Installation is completed. After reconfiguring the integration, you can use your remote. This was an example. You can add other switches to your remote control. By visiting this web page, for example, if you are trying to capture a Sony IR signal, the data you receive must have a data and in bits. For Toshiba, the signal you receive has RC code 1 and RC code 2. And in switch section, you have to use this method, or let's say this side. By visiting this web page, we have an example for Panasonic. As you see, instead of Samsung, Panasonic is written and receiving Panasonic IR signal, we have address and comment. Studying these two web pages, you can find out more about using IR signals. If you have any question, do not hesitate to leave comments. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. You can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.